And while the pretty girls got to go to brownies, I had to go to Greek school. Onikos Ehi Enakatsiki. At Greek school, I learned valuable lessons like if Nick has one goat and Maria has nine, how soon will they marry? My mom was always cooking foods filled with warmth and wisdom and never forgetting that side dish of steaming hot guilt. Nico, don't play with the food. When I was your age, we didn't have food. Huh? What? Why do I have to go to Greek school? When you get married, don't you want to be able to write your mother-in-law a letter? Nico, come on, eat. We lived in a normal middle-class Chicago neighborhood of tasteful, modest homes. Our house, however, was modeled after the Parthenon, complete with Corinthian columns and guarded by statues of the gods. In case the neighbors had any doubts about our heritage, they could just check out our subtle tribute to the Greek flag. My dad believed in only two things, that Greeks should educate non-Greeks about being Greek, and that any ailment, from psoriasis to poison ivy, could be cured with Windex. Six years later, I was 12, Athena, my older perfect sister, was 15, and my brother Nick was 11. Every morning, my dad would lecture us on the history of our people, the great civilization, the Greeks. Okay, now, name three things the Greeks did first. Astronomy, philosophy, and democracy. Bravo, very good. Now, give me a word. Any word, and I show you how the root of that word is Greek. Okay? How about arachnophobia? Arachna, that comes from the Greek word for spider, and phobia is a phobia, is I mean fear. So fear of spider, there you go. Okay, Mr. Portocalis, how about the word kimono? Aha, uh -huh. kimono. Kimono, kimono, kimono. <laughs> of course, kimono is come from the Greek word kimona, is mean winter. So, what do you wear in the winter time to stay warm? A robe. You see, robe, kimono, there you go. <laughs> bye bye. Goodbye, Mr. Portocalis. Tulam, you should be proud to be Greek. <laughs>